Hi there, welcome to today's video and today it's Thursday which means there are lots of new games in the App Store. So today I'm going to share with you four free games for your iPhone and iPad. Now the first one I'm showing you is Cloud Breaker and this is a matching puzzle game. Now basically you are pulling apart and arranging clouds of blocks as you can see and you've got to try and do this as quick as you can and there are bonus times for sliding in as few moves as possible. So it's really easy to move, it's just one touch control and you're swiping the blocks to match the colours, you just move them around so they can match and when you match one then all the rest fall into place basically and make it quite easy for you. It starts off relatively easy so you get an idea of how to play and then it gets more challenging the further along that you progress. But it's a great game and great if you like matching puzzle games as well so give that one a try. The next one is Smash Hit and this is probably my best free game this week. It looks absolutely cool and it's so easy to play. Now the aim of the game is to basically smash everything in your path by throwing, I presume it's metal balls at them. Now you start off with a limited amount of balls and to get more you have to smash those glass pyramids that you can see and inside there there will be three more balls for you to collect. If you run out of balls it will be game over so just make sure you use them wisely but also collect them as you go. But you use them wherever you want the balls to go you just tap there on screen and so you'll be using like on buttons there to open doors but also on glass panes and those glass pyramids that I told you. But if you, as I say, if you run out of balls, it'll be game over, but also if you bang into any doors or obstacles, then it's game over then as well. But you just need to keep going as far as you can. But as you can see, it looks really cool. It makes some great smashing sounds. So if you've got a bit of tension that you need releasing, it is going to be ideal for that. But give it a try. As I say, it's probably my favourite one this week. And it's just perfect for a quick play game as well. The next one is Colours, a colour matching game and yes it is another matching game but there seems to be quite a lot of these around at the moment but this one is pretty good too. You're basically matching colours by drawing lines together and popping the coloured balls as well that are at the top. They tend to correspond to the lines that you're clearing away on the bottom half and all you're doing is swiping all the different ones and you can do a minimum of two at once so you have to do like a match three or anything like that but you can swipe them away obviously the bigger the chain is then the more points you're going to get and also clear away the bigger circles as well. But there are lots of different colours. Every time you play there'll be a different colour theme. It's kind of random, you don't get to choose, but apparently it's about over a thousand colours to do. And there's also gold to collect as well and activate different power-ups along the way. So like you might get one that clears away the arts or makes them smaller. I might get a bit more time as well. There's Game Centre as well, so you can compete online with your friends and try to get to the top of the leaderboard. But it's another really cool matching game. And the last one I'm going to show you is Frontline Commando 2 and this is basically a sequel to the first one and if you've never played it before it's a third person shooter and basically you've got to build a team of mercenaries and get revenge on your enemy and you do this by progressing through different missions and altogether there are 40 missions and 13 different challenges to achieve and you just work your way through them one by one. And you start off pretty basic and like a tutorial so you know what you're doing in case you've never played the game before. And then you just, as I say, work your way through, recruit and train soldiers and there are about 65 possible different members you can recruit. So lots and lots of different tweaks and things you can make to your gameplay. You can also upgrade your weapons, you can get things like snipers and rifles and shotguns. So pretty much basically the normal kind of game when you've got these shooting games, it works pretty much that way as well. And obviously if you played the first one as well, then you'll pretty much know how to play this one as well. But it's a really cool game and as I say, it's free. There are in-app purchases, but in most of these games you don't have to buy them if you don't want to, you can just try and play it without. But it's another one that's well worth giving it a try. Well that's the four new games that I want to share with you today. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these and also if you found a really cool new game let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye for now.